Okay, hi there guys, it's Matt here again, and today I'm going to show you how to change your um, note types in Anki. Now this is really good uh, uh, and really useful for when you're making um, Substore SRS decks, uh, as you can then add Fruity Gunner to the back of your cards as well. Now the reason why you have to do this is because the, uh, the Japanese note types from the, that are created from the Japanese support plugin um, are like... They're laid out in such a way that you can't necessarily bring the properties of the, like adding Freddy Gunner to other cards. You can't just put the code into other cards and it will just work. You have to make a new note type based off of the Japanese plugins uh, code, I guess. I don't really know how it works myself, but this is how I overcame it. So to do this, you're going to want to go to Note Type Manager or Note Manage Note Types or whatever it's called in English. I'm not sure. Um, Click on this and you'll have a well, if you're like me and you've tried a lot of decks over the years, then you'll have a long list of uh, different types of cards. Now, the one you're going to want to look for is Japanese, right? If it just, just Japanese, that's the one that's generated by the Japanese support plugin. And that's the one that you're going to want to base your new note type off. So you want to click add uh, to cut. Um, and then what it's going to do, it's going to give you a list of the same the same list of different card types and you're going to use this as a base to make the new list to, to sorry to make the new note type so you're going to find japanese and it'll say clone which means you can then clone it you click ok you click japanese and you can change it to whatever you like um i'll click japanese um i don't know test test one click ok now this is going to create the new type, new note type here and if you click on uh there should be an edit somewhere uh, sure. ah fields sorry if you click on fields then it will show you the list of fields right um the japanese basic note type the one that's generated by the support plugin has three fields expression meaning and reading these um these field types basically the expression is the the sentence you want to learn the meaning is any extra stuff that you want to put in there, um, and the reading is the how the expression is read. So it will take the expression sentence, it will display it again, but with the footy gunner on top. Now this is a bit that we want, right? And we want to add this to other card types so that we can make use of it, right? So if you then want to make a Substore SRS um, deck, but you want to have footy gunner on. The, for the readings, for the, for the expression, you want to have Furigana for that, and you want to have Furigana for, I don't know, the meaning field as well, then you're going to want to base, as I say, base your note type off the Japanese, um, the Japanese note type. Then what you can do is you can take the Substar SRS note type and just add the fields that the Substar SRS note type uses and then just use that, okay? It's that simple. So in this case, the Substar SRS note type... Um, I think it has sequence marker. Um, just click yes. It has uh, image uh, audio. There's also videos as well, but I've never got that working, so I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, what else was there? I believe that's it for now. So you just want to have those, and then you can. Um, you can then start importing Substore SRS decks as well, and you can just link up the correct fields with the correct options. Then from there, um, I'm actually going to delete this because I don't need it, and I'll just show you what I've already done. So from here, if you see, I've got one which is called J uh, Japanese plus Substore SRS. Uh, if I click on fields, you'll see I have expression, meaning, reading, snapshot, audio, sequence marker, snapshot is the image. Um, so this is the layout that I use, and then I just link up all the correct fields with all the correct uh, fields generated by the by Substore SRS. Um, and then you can click on if you want to uh, like add Furigana to the meaning field, for example, or other fields. Then you can click on Card, and it will show you the programming code that's used to display um, stuff uh, to, to display the, the content of the cards. This is just basic HTML and CSS. If you know that, if you know, if you know that, it's pretty. It's going to be really easy for you. I mean, if you, even if you don't know, it's pretty damn easy. Uh, pretty damn easy programming language. So don't worry too much about it. So here we have. You can ignore pretty much all of this. This div stuff. You don't need it. But just 
it's there, okay, just but you don't need to worry about it. This is the bit that you need to worry about is the two brackets, expression, two brackets, okay? Without this, the expression field will not show up on the card. If I delete that, you'll see it's gone, right? That would normally be the sentence that we display. If I actually get um, an actual card, I can show you what I mean. So if I just go to, I don't know, Maggie, right? If I just click edit and then go to card, if I delete expression, then hang on, if I, can't do it. If I delete expression, the sentence disappears, okay? So this has to be there. Again, with snapshot, you can delete snapshot and it disappears, but it has to be there if you want it to, to display. Um, and then this stuff is all just the font color and font, we don't need to worry about that. Um, and then the front side, again, if you delete this, it won't display the front again. So you want to keep that because you want to see the front again on the back. And um, this stuff is just, yeah, the, the, the stuff that displays on the back, right? So you've got audio and then you've got Furigana reading. So normally it would look like reading will look always look like this always because you're basing it off the Japanese plugin, right? The support plugin. But the meaning field would normally look like this. It would just look like meaning, right? So I don't have a dictionary definition here, so I can't actually show you, but it will just display anything, any Japanese in the meaning field as without furigana. So if you want to add furigana, you have to put furigana and then a colon, then meaning. So for example, if I just, if I deleted the furigana part of the reading field, then you would just it would just display exactly what's in the box like basically the, if i show you what the actual card looks like it has one word the reading of that word in brackets and then another word and then the reading of that word in brackets right that's how it's displayed so without the the fully gone bit at the beginning it literally just displays it how it should be how how you put it in the box right how you put it in the field so if you want to make sure that anything on the back of the card um, or even on the front of the card, but expression won't work uh, because that's just the way it works. Anything other than expression, if you want to have it with furigana on, on top, then you can just put furigana kernel. Uh, and then as you see, as you can see, it will display like this. So that guys is how you change your note type. Um, and the code to display Furigana. And so you can sort of so you know how to uh, make new Japanese Anki flashcards based on the Japanese uh, support plugin. Because that is, as I say, like if you want to add Furigana, you need to base it off the Japanese support plugin. And that's why it's so annoying uh, because you can't just, you can't easily just chuck the Furigana code, on it, code into any note type and it will work. You have to base it off. The support plugin which is why i wanted to show you how to do this video uh, show you how to do that in this video um hopefully it wasn't too confusing and it made sense so but if it didn't then leave a comment in the in the, in the uh, comment section below and i'll try to help you out um and yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you if you found it useful then leave a like and a comment below and yeah i'll see you guys next time cheers bye